Hey guys, this is AP Biz, and as y'all already know, Ed is just around the corner. Hopefully, Capcom drops a video on him by the end of January, and we see his character's full release by the end of February. But enough about that. I'm here to talk about why Ed needs a full rework in his Street Fighter 6 entry. Now, before we talk about Ed's full rework, we need to talk about his style in Street Fighter 5. So right off the rip, Ed is a new kind of character in the Street Fighter series. He's based around the concept that many of his attacks are performed via simple one or two button presses. So he is a very unusual character in the Street Fighter series. High mobility, decent zoning, and great setups to keep players on their toes. It seems to me that Capcom made such a character to ease in newcomers, especially since there's no requirement to do special moves with motion unless you have to do the critical art. Now, when people got wind that this character could perform motion special moves by just pressing two buttons, a lot of players had mixed feelings about this, considering that the control scheme was scrubby, newcomer friendly, and shouldn't have a place in the Street Fighter universe. And don't get me wrong, as a Street Fighter veteran, I think we had every right to think that way. But if you must know why he was included, Capcom's intended purpose for having Ed in the game is to bring in newcomers and simplify the controls for them to have fun. And I'm not even mad at that because the simple fact is that we need newcomers in order for Street Fighter to strive. It just is what it is. And if my memory served me well, when Ed was released, he was only considered mid-tier. Until a certain person, <clears throat> and Walker came and started blowing up people in the scenes. Could be oh, that that you can't be break that. Just have to do that. Nice, no. nice, low profile. Oh no, he gets clipped, counter hit, and he's into the corner. Does Logan, he here it comes. He Logan, him. here it comes. He only needs one more hit, you know. That might be stunned. Not it's quite. Still alive. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh. Which leads me to talk about Ed's move sets in Street Fighter V. Now, if you wanted to play Ed in Street Fighter V, you need to know these three simple rules: stand in heavy kick, flick a jab, and V trigger one. That's all you needed to be great with him. Nah, there's more to it than that, but learning these three moves would definitely put you on par with a lot of great players in Street Fighter V. All you really had to learn was your distance, your frame data, and setups with V-Trigger 1. You're golden. And if you think I'm lying, just watch clips of N Walker and Flicker 1, 2, 3. You'll see it. Now granted, he has other moves that can help him out as well. He has his ES Get Off Me move that can help him out in certain situations when he's cornered, if you can land it. He has his uppercut kick move that he can EX and actually extend his combo. And he has a V-reversal to get out of situations as well. Pretty good character overall. Now you can say, oh, this character sounds great. Why does he need a rework in Street Fighter 6? Oh, there's a lot of reasons why I want him rework in Street Fighter 6. And these are my opinions. Everybody's entitled to their own. And most likely Capcom won't even change him that much. But if they do, these are my changes that I think will benefit Ed. And make him more fun and enjoyable to play as. Now the first thing I would change about Ed from Street Fighter 5 to Street Fighter 6 is make him more of a boxer. Since Capcom has agreed that put him Dudley in this game is not worth it. So please Capcom, take away all his kicks and make him more of a boxer. And shout out to Smug, undoubtedly the best Dudley in the damn world. And I'm not talking about making him a cut and paste character of Balrog, make him a hybrid character. Use some of Dudley's refined skill sets and himself from Street Fighter 5 and just twist it around a little bit. Just don't add all them damn kicks. Number two, and I know this might sound crazy to some, but take away his fireball. I don't think he needs it at all. I know he has psycho power. He could use that with his uppercut or whatever the case may be, but take away his fireball and replace it with a move they could dash under fireballs. If he's gonna be a rushdown character and be a boxer, he needs to do stuff like that. I just find it weird that Borog and Dudley could get around these fireballs with ease, but Egg can't. Yeah, and you can say, yeah, he could use his fireball to negate the other fireball, but I just think as a boxer, he should be able to maneuver around these things with ease. Borok could spin and turn around punch. Dudley could sway under with a follow-up of a straight or an uppercut. I think Ed should be able to do the same thing. If not, change it up a bit. And don't even get me started with his V skill too. That move was not that great, man. Not to the caliber of Borog's or Dudley's. So don't even bring it up. I say the best character to look at for inspiration is Steve from Tekken, man, because he has everything there. Actually scratch that. Look at Steve from Street Fighter X Tekken. They did just as well with him in that 2D platform. They can do the same thing with Ed in this one as well. And I think Capcom did a great job of bringing that 3D Steve to the 2D world. So there's no reason why Ed can be a great boxer. What I will say is just keep his psycho power infused in his fist and make him do different things with it. And I also would allow the psycho snatcher. I actually like that move. I'm not going to lie. Now my third thing that I want them to change with Ed is to take away his flicker jab. 
or at least change the way the move works and looks because god almighty this move is so bland I feel like i'm just watching hajime no Ipo over here with the guy with the flicker jab I, it's just not appealing at all see with the machine gun blow with dudley man at least you know he had his own style and pizzazz on it man ed is young he should be able to swag out crazy he's young he's, he's new to the boxing role he should be able to switch it up make it look nice and all that not that flicker jab man that one two three one two three that's all we heard in street fighter 5 was that same thing over and over again because this was one of his best moves not to mention it's one of his cheapest moves too i don't know what you gotta do capcom man just don't add a four five six after that we just need a new move completely please number four for the rework of this character in street fighter 6 is add some target combos to him it don't have to be many maybe one or two he should have them no questions asked come on capcom make this character look cool to play as make a boxing character look cool to play as as you did with dudley number five will be to make his charge punch armor breaking i think that move is already slow as it is so why not make it something viable in street fighter 6 and make it break armor that'll be great i mean marissa has armor breaking moves that are super fast ed should have the same thing too number six and maybe i'm overreaching with this is to give ed a counter i think ed will do great with a counter i think ed being a boxer should have a counter move but the counter only blocks up and middle attacks lower it doesn't have any effect it'll be cool to see you know them flesh out his boxing ability and his growth in street fighter 6. <laughs> don't get me started on the counter that jp has god like as hell and zangief i don't even know why they even put it in the game nobody use it maybe like one percent my back 0.1 percent use that damn move and that's because they're just trying it out number seven i'm just gonna make this quick give him overhead enough said and number eight for ed would be it's more of a personality thing the guy's already cocky as hell make him more arrogant make him more smug he thinks he's the best in the world he might as well show his skills and be just like all over the place showboating giving a johnny cage treatment but not fully we should be able to see this through his taunts and through his specials especially his level three man make that sh fire give ed the treatment that he deserved that he couldn't get in street fighter 5 due to his dullness I'm just gonna say it. I thought he was a really dull character in Street Fighter V, and him having a two button input didn't make him any better. But at last, these are my thoughts about the character, and hopefully, as a boxing enthusiast who loves boxing, we get to see him justified in Street Fighter VI. But let me know in the comments below, man. Do you think that Ed should have a full rework in Street Fighter VI, or should he be the same as he was in Street Fighter V with just minor tweaks? I think Capcom has the potential to make this character look cool and play dope in Street Fighter VI, but only time will tell. This character most likely will be released at the end of February, but that's just speculation. Again, thank you for watching the video, man. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want, like, comment, subscribe. If you don't, it's fine, man. Your views matter as well. And until next time, people, peace.